Hi friends, welcome to Vcreation Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about read all data from text file in C Sharp. So which means, first of all, we are just going to take one text file and in the text file, by using the C Sharp code, we are just going to retrieve all the, all the data, whatever present in the text file and stored in the simple variable. And from that variable, we can do any kind of operations or from that variable, we can use that those data in for future purposes. So, so what I will do, I will just write only one line of code and irrespective of how much data present in the text file, it will retrieve all the data and it will just stored in a particular variable all right so to demonstrate that i need to go to visual studio so as you can see my screen uh, i'm inside the visual studio and this this i just created a sample application so so here you can see this uh, this line so here i just created a variable and the variable name is file name which is of string type and this is my path of the file and that that file.txt which is my text file which is present under the D drive and and test folder. So if I go to uh, D drive, so this is my D drive and this is the test folder. And here you can see the file.txt is present, which is nothing but about our text file. So uh, this is just a sample uh, data I uh, pasted here, but you can, I mean, you can add any number of lines in this file.txt or any, any type of file. And here you can see the file.txt. So th this name is provided by me, but as per your programming language, you need to change this file name. All right. So first let me create a variable where data. So, th so this variable contains all the data from this file.txt file. Now I'm just going to use system.io file dot read all text method so here you can see there are two overloaded methods are there so i'm just going to use both the overloaded methods so first i need to pass the path of the file which is the text file so here is my file name then after that we just need to pass the encoding so for that encoding encoding dot UTF-8 all right so here you can see this encoding is present under the system dot text namespace so as I have already uh, included this system dot text namespace so that's the reason it is not showing any kind of uh, error and this file is present under the system dot IO namespace as I have already included here so no need to include again here I can simply uh, remove it so here but if if I let's say if I comment these things system.text and system.io then it will uh, show you in two errors see here you, you can see here that the name file does not exist in current context and this the name encoding so so let me just uh, uncomment this all right so now all those errors are removed so so when this uh, program executes then what it will do just uh, from this file.txt uh, file it will retrieve all the data and it will just store in this data variable so now let me just run the application so as i, as I had already uh, added the breakpoint so now you can see here the breakpoint is already hit so so let me uh, debug line by line so what is my file name is my that is the t drive test folder in file.txt now if i execute this line then you can see this uh, already this line is executed so if i open that one in the visualizer then you can see the same thing is showing in the this this data variable like like whatever this file.txt contains in that d drive and test folder the same contents present in the in the in this data variable so by you after that by using this data variable you can do any kind of operation and one more thing is that uh, here i just added two lines of code but this is not restricted to two lines of codes you can add thousand lines of codes 
and after that if you run this same program then you will get the same output like if we added thousand lines of codes and if you after executing this uh, this fair data line then you can see all those data are present in this data variable so this is all about our today's videos thank you and also please like and subscribe to our channel